Hello and welcome to the show. I am Joe Topat. Yep. I'm going to be talking about the Kansas special. I've mentioned Why Charlie Brown Why in many videos, but I've never did a review of it before, mostly because of its subject matter. Cancer is not exactly a pleasant thing to talk about. One of the reasons why I decided to talk about this special is because I've had relatives who had cancer. Another reason why I picked it is because of its reputation as being a kid's cartoon dealing with a serious topic. It often makes the list of darkest or saddest episodes of a kid's show ever made. Before talking about the special itself, I'm going to go over how it came about. Now, I've already shared this story in previous videos, but I can't assume everybody has seen those videos. So, for the benefit of the people who haven't seen it before, here's the story. On December of 1985, a nurse by the name of Sylvia Kirk wrote a letter to Charles Schultz, asking him to make an educational short about cancer for kids. She felt that the Peanuts characters could help explain this delicate topic to children. At first, Schultz was reluctant to make it. Although the Peanuts characters had been in educational shorts before, they were about dental hygiene and air pollution. Cancer is a completely different matter. The American Cancer Society convinced him to make it. The original idea was to be a five-minute short. Schultz instead decided to make a half-hour special. Bill Melendez and CBS were against the idea at first because... Well, isn't it obvious? They were eventually won over by Schultz's enthusiasm for the project. Some have speculated that the reason why Schultz took to the idea was because he lost his mom to cancer. I'm not sure if that's the reason. I'm not even sure he thought about that when he agreed to do this. It's possible, I guess, but I don't know. One of the reasons given why he was so reluctant to make this is because he knew nothing about cancer. Schultz never liked to write about something he knew nothing about. From my understanding, Schultz was inspired to make the special after going to the hospital to see kids dealing with cancer. Both Sylvia Cook and the American Cancer Society would serve as consultants. With the history lesson out of the way, let's talk about the special. The characters are all waiting for the bus to arrive. Sally, as usual, complains about having to go to school. I remember that feeling all too well. Anyway, Janice, a friend of Linus, accidentally hits her arm and finds that she has a bruise. She remarks to Linus that lately... She has been getting bruised easily, a sign of things to come. Before school starts, we get a heartwarming scene of Charlie Brown pushing Sally on the swing. Linus offers to push Janice on the swings, but she isn't feeling up to it. Janice starts to feel worse as the day goes on. Linus feels her forehead and finds she's burning up. So he tells her to go see the school nurse. I said it before, and I'll say it again. Linus is a very good friend. It was decided that because of the serious nature of this special, Linus shouldn't have his blanket. Why Charlie Brown Why is possibly the only special where we see him without it. There's also not a lot of jokes for obvious reasons. The special does a good job at offering some levity, mostly with Snoopy's antics. But for the most part, it takes the subject matter very seriously. Janice goes to see the nurse and is later picked up by her mom. For three days, the others don't see her. The teacher tells the class that Janice is in the hospital. After school, 
Linus and Charlie Brown go to visit her. It is at the hospital where we see Snoopy as the world-famous surgeon, offering the audience some much-needed levity. When Linus and Charlie Brown finally see Janice, she tells them that she has cancer. Charlie Brown asked if she's going to die. Linus doesn't take his question very well. In fact, he's pretty mad at Charlie Brown for asking it. I can understand how both of them feel. Learning that someone has cancer is a big deal. It's possible to survive cancer. My dad is a cancer survivor. It is oftentimes a death sentence. So obviously that question will be on your mind. On the other hand, it may not be the most appropriate question to ask, given the circumstance. Janice, however, isn't offended by Charlie Brown's question, and admits that she asked it too. This scene is largely meant to educate kids on how cancer is diagnosed and how it's treated. It does a very good job at conveying this information. From what I've read, Schools would often show this special to educate kids on cancer. I personally never saw it in school, but I can understand why schools would want to show it. Anyway, the type of cancer Janice has is leukemia, a fairly common form of cancer kids get. She also explains that she's receiving chemotherapy, which causes her to feel sick and her hair to fall out. A common misconception about cancer is that it causes your hair to fall out. It doesn't. It's the chemotherapy that does that. I see so many people get that wrong, and I'm glad this special clarifies that. Janice is determined to get better and to swing again. A patient's attitude is also key in getting better. Having the will to live and get better can determine if a patient lives or dies. Now I'm not saying that the will to live is all you need. You still have to see a doctor and take certain medication. Nor am I saying that you're guaranteed to make it with the will to live. Sometimes things happen beyond our control. What I am saying is that the will to live causes a patient to take their treatment seriously. Janice has the right attitude and it helps increase her chances of beating cancer. It's not a guarantee, but it helps. Linus takes the news of Janice's diagnosis pretty hard. This scene of Linus walking home is very depressing. The song they play over it really captures the mood. I can't play it here, but trust me, it's sad. He goes home and is ordered by Lucy to get her a glass of milk. She doesn't care about the news that Janice has cancer at first. That is, until Linus tells her that he touched her forehead. Like the scene at the hospital, this conversation between Linus and Lucy is meant to be educational. Through this conversation, we learn that cancer isn't contagious, like a cold. There are things we can do to increase our chances of getting cancer. Smoking being the best example. Leukemia is not a cancer you can get because of something you did wrong, though. Lucy is still unsympathetic towards Linus's friend and orders him to take the glass of milk back. He refuses to touch it because he doesn't want to catch her crabbiness. It's nice to see Linus put Lucy in her place. Later, we see Janice back at school wearing a pink cap to cover up the fact that she lost her hair. Yep, I'm going to be talking about that Sing, the one everyone remembers most 
from this special. Linus and Janice are on the playground. They are both disappointed that the swings have been put away for the winter. Then the bully shows up. I love how there's a bee on his sweater indicating that he's a bully. He knocks Janice's cap off her head, revealing that she's now bald. He starts to make fun of the poor girl, causing her to cry. That is when Linus puts him in his place. Anyone who's seen my video on Linus knows that he isn't afraid to stand up to bullies. He is often the first to stand up for Charlie Brown, and he used his blanket to whip the bullies and race for your life, Charlie Brown. However, this is probably the most intense we ever see Linus get. He actually grabs the bully by the shirt. The look on the bully's face shows that he's afraid of Linus. Other than grabbing him by the shirt, Linus doesn't actually do anything physical towards him. He doesn't punch or kick the bully. He just yells at him, and boy is it intense. He explains to the bully what Janice is going through. To the kid's credit, he does apologize to Janice and gives her back her cap. He even tells her that he likes her cap. So I guess the bully does have a redeeming quality. Let me remind everyone that Linus can use his blanket as a whip. Just imagine what he would have done to that kid if he had it with him. Christmas time approaches and Linus goes to Janice's house to drop off a present. It is here we meet Janice's sisters. One sister, who kind of looks like Patty, starts to complain about how Janice has gotten more presents than the two of them combined. They also have to watch getting sick or else they could spread it to Janice, which could be fatal. She goes as far as to call Janice a nuisance. It's interesting how the other sister never complains. To the girl's credit, she does take back what she said. This scene shows how cancer doesn't just affect the people who got it. It affects everyone close to them. It can be easy to feel neglected, but it's good to remember that you should never take out your frustrations on the person who is sick. It is spring and Janice has come back to school. The special ends with Linus pushing her on the swing. Janice's pink cap falls off, revealing that her hair has grown back. Some have interpreted this ending to mean that Janice has stopped taking her chemo and will die soon. Charles Schultz made it clear in interviews that the ending was meant to show that Janice is cured. I always thought that was clear, but I guess some people don't like happy endings. Why Charlie Brown Why is a very good special, but it's not one I rewatch a lot because, well, isn't it obvious? The educational stuff is handled very well. It can get depressing, but it's able to balance it out with some funny scenes with Snoopy. Charles Schultz was very proud of this special, and it's not hard to see why. I do think it's important that kids know about cancer, though I think parents should make their own judgment about showing this to their kids. You can find the special in the Emmy Award collection or on Apple TV+. Plus. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.